Take a look at these pictures. What is similar between this forest and this green roof? The first things that come to mind that it is nature and it is green and it is right. But even more importantly that both of them are tackling with the same problem. The problem of rising heat. The earth heats up and if you and I do nothing against it, soon we will be boiled. My name is Lisa Fakirova. I'm an urbanist and green infrastructure researcher. Originally, I came from St. Petersburg, the city in Russia where the roofs have long been a symbol of a city. And what I've learned that the roof is a powerful tool that we can use to mitigate the climate change. We live in a times of climate emergency and the rising temperatures have to be taken into a specific account. When the earth heats up, cities boil. Infrastructure is no longer dependable, death rates rise, and even simply breathing becomes more difficult. Unfortunately, warming is definitely a trend for megacities. The annual increase of temperatures in such cities like Paris or Moscow is four times higher than even 40 years ago. And this trend is very costly. I do believe that all of you had an experience of dealing with the hot weather and heat waves. The most extreme experience I had was in 2010 when I moved from St. Petersburg to Moscow for my internship and my further professional development. I remember this summer very, very well, and especially because of the hot weather. It was 39 degrees during the day, it was hard to breathe, it was smog, and there was no any possibility to buy a cooling fan because everything was sold out. Though summer, Moscow was affected by the strongest heat wave in the present era. And the cost for that was the lives of 10,000 people. And if you still do not believe me that cities will melt us down, just take a look at this news from the last years. London 2013. Do you see these waves on the car? That was done by the skyscraper. The sun reflecting off the building and so damaged the car. The same thing happened in Russia three years ago. In Australia, sun melted asphalt and damaged 50 cars. Oh, that's my favorite example. It is the post from Twitter that was done this summer in Canada. It took only one hour to make from these gummy bears a gummy puddle. Take a look, cherry gum is much more resilient. Because of the heat waves, people have to stay in cooling centers and local businesses have to be shut down. And I also would love to present you some statistics from Berlin, where I'm currently living. Even in the current climate, around 1,400 people die from heat waves each summer. By comparison, around 65 people die in traffic accidents annually. So heat is around 25 times more deadly. I personally was astonished by this fact. How many of you live in the cities? Probably most of you. Look around your living area. It is sealed. Artificial materials, asphalt, concrete and reflecting services, mirrors, steel, windows, high density, lack of trees on the streets and lack of blue and green spaces. All these are contributing to the rising temperatures. And you will be surprised to learn that the difference between the temperatures in the inner city and the countryside can be up to 10 degrees. Urbanists, climate activists and scientists name this phenomenon urban heat island effect. And especially it's noticeable during the night, when buildings re-radiate the warmth that they accumulated during the day. High temperatures in summer and high humidity in winter is affecting our health and especially health of our kids, parents and grandparents. Primarily they are in a risk category. And if you are young and healthy, it is brilliant. But don't worry, we all will get there. And today I'm staying here on the top of the building where I am currently live in Berlin to tell you that there is a tool we can use to mitigate climate change. 
and this too is your roof. More greenery in the city is an effective means of cooling. And now let's come back to the question from the beginning. What is similar between forests and green roofs? Trees reduce the temperature of the environment through the shadows. They also operate water through their leaves. That is why it is significantly cooler in natural areas than in urban environment. Green roofs, as other green infrastructure like parks, cemeteries or pocket parks, are an artificial ecosystems that imitates these functions of the forests. Just imagine that the backyard of the place where you currently live will be done not from the concrete but will be unsealed and green. And if the facades and roof will be green, then the temperatures there will be able to drop to up to 10 degrees. I also have to mention that green roofs can help to reduce floods in the cities. Next time when you will decide to take a bath, just remember this fact, that one bath tube it is this amount of water that can be captured by one square meter of green roofs. And that is how green roofs help to reduce the pressure on the sewer system. The other benefit of green roofs is that they help to reduce the biodiversity loss. In London, green roofs provided an additional habitat for the black red stars, birds who lost their home because they were affected by the urban development. Other plus of green roof that they, they can provide an additional gathering place and space for their food production. They reduce noise, they of course positively affecting our health and in general improving the quality of life. And it is something where we can be engaged in and contribute to. Now you can see that green roofs can bring a lot of benefits. But if it's so beneficial, why aren't there green roofs all over your city? Probably, if you live in such megapolis like Moscow, the first argumentation will be climate. You probably think it's cold, it's hot and not possible. But just take a look at these examples from Canada and Scandinavian cities, where the climate is quite relevant. And just take a look at this example from Moscow. So it is possible. What you need to do is to use the appropriate to your climate conditions soil, substrate and plants. It is very important. You might think that green your roof is very costly. But based on the economic evaluation that was provided by the Hafen City University in Hamburg, and here I will quote, green roofs can in the long term have similar or even slightly lower costs than bitumen roofs, black roofs. Why is it like that? Firstly, because the life expectancy of green roofs is almost two times longer than black one. So you don't need to repair your green roof each 10 years like it is with the general one. Secondly, green roofs can help to reduce the cost for the energy consumption. Just to give you an example. In the Swiss city Basel, where 85,000 of black roofs were converted to green roofs, the community was able to save around 4 gigawatts of energy per year. Just imagine that 12 soccer fields empowering the equivalent of 12 million of photovoltaic panels. And last but not least, you will tell me that your roof wasn't supposed to have an additional load. And for this I also have an answer. When engineers count the load, they forecast the possibility of the extreme weather conditions, like snow or rainfalls. So your roof have more capacity than you imagine. From the other side, you also can use allied solutions, like modular pots or green pockets. What I'm trying to say you here, that we can find a way how to green your roof. And if it's still not possible to do that for some reason, you can start small. You can green your garage roof or your balcony, or you even can start a community garden. You can spread the knowledge about green roofs. You can share this TEDx talk. Let's turn off the stone burner and renature our cities.